what's going on everybody welcome back to the show another episode today here on the crypto millionaire journey uh shout out to my boy nori j beats r by nori j but we got a little update here as far as star atlas uh these guys have been working diligently and uh if you didn't get a chance to participate in the rebirth event uh that's a shame uh, the reason why i say that is because if you're able to get a poster i'm pretty sure you probably won x on your particular purchase um but i'm just going to go ahead and dive on in on you know what's coming up um if you got a chance to follow their twitter or be part of their telegram group some of these render pictures of what we will be potentially uh, be participating in is is like no other um again this game is a blockchain game it's a metaverse game very expansive huge universe you'll be able to do a lot of deep space exploration um there'll be ships obviously involved you'll have clans um there's a lot a lot that's going on in this particular game and it's probably one of the games that i'm looking uh, forward to the most uh, i've been following these guys for a while now um, you know, they are built on Solana's blockchain and um, you guys have heard me on probably my last episode where I was talking about just a briefly a little bit about, you know, these different play to earn games. And this is one where I can obviously see a lot of my time uh, being taken, uh, just being involved in this game because there's so many different ways, not only to, just to play the game, but there's some different ways where you'll be able to actually earn some money. In the game as well so uh, briefly I'll go ahead and touch on the rebirth event a little bit first and then I'll kind of touch base on some of these different updates announcements that they have made uh, if I'm not mistaken they're getting ready to launch uh, their initial exchange offering and their initial DEX offering here pretty soon but like I said I'll touch on that a little bit later in the show but first we got to talk about the rebirth event that took place uh, not too long ago uh, i ended uh, i believe like the end of july uh, that was basically all about being able to you know get some posters and get some of these different rewards because you had different tiers you got about four what about five tier levels uh, each tier had different rewards, you know, based on these different posters that you would buy in, you know, these posters that you were able to buy, uh, the rewards levels were anywhere from one and five being the highest. Um, obviously, you know, you would be spending a pretty penny, um, on some of these posters, but it turns out that now that, you know, you're able to go buy on the Dex marketplace. The value of some of these posters have skyrocketed. I mean, uh, I remember prime example is uh, this one poster that, you know, it's, it's a reward level one. It's called Discovery of Iris. Uh, I believe on, during the rebirth event, it was going for maybe like under a hundred bucks. Now, if you want to, you know, obviously buy it on the marketplace, it actually shop a little bit. I mean, obviously some people are selling it at different prices and stuff like that, but uh, you're looking at now you're going to be probably spending anywhere from 180 and above. Um, I was actually able to snag my uh, first poster. Um, obviously, mine is a award level number one. But what's kind of cool about my poster is it was part of that Armstrong Forever, uh, which was kind of basically like a limited edition uh, pack in a sense. And also, too, they have a cool cool experience with all these different posters uh, as far as the augmented reality goes um, each poster has an AR so you can kind of you know tap in in that way and um, my Armstrong forever poster I believe I bought that for somewhere around like you know hundred dollars and some change and now you go to the marketplace some and some of these are being sold for anywhere from 1100 and up so <laughs> Uh, as you can see, that is a nice, nice little gain as far as this uh, poster goes. Because all these different posters are basically NFTs, in a sense. 
um, but they also are going to help you when it comes to the game as well. And I'll probably be trying to buy a couple more, you know, award level one posters uh, just to kind of boost up my different tiers here. Because um, I'm going to go back to these tiers a little bit because, man. So with these different tiers, you got tier zero, tier one, uh, tier two, tier three, tier four, and tier five, obviously. The top tiers you're gonna be spending a nice chunk of change uh, when it comes to those particular tiers. But as far as rewards go, I mean, we're talking massive here because each one has a ship reward that you'll get, a mining claims package. Um, some of these have pet rewards. Uh, obviously you have these access rewards as well. Uh, the higher tiers you go, like tier two and tier three, you got crew rewards. And then as far as tier four and tier five, which obviously are the highest rewards you can pretty much get, which are captain executive, uh, those tiers, I mean, the awards are just mind boggling. Um, I'm pretty sure there are a couple people out here in the space that, you know, have these awards. And I mean, we're talking about looking at some of these mining claims packages. I mean, we're talking about 55 X on some of these, you know, different mining station, power plants and mining drills and your orbital space station. I mean, what they have done and built as far as this particular game is very, very, uh, not just cool, but it's very interesting as well. Again, they are using the Unreal Engine. Uh, that's gonna be kind of, you know, obviously the base of the game and the graphics are, <laughs> graphics are sick, folks. If you haven't had a chance to see any of their rendered pictures, highly suggest you get a chance to go ahead and um, check those out but my poster which why uh, which was so significant which was part of the Armstrong forever it was only available from June 15th to July 20 and or say 20th and with this bad boy the awards I'm going to receive uh, got some ship rewards I get a uh, exclusive white hot skin for my jet uh, again, I'm going to have a Neil Armstrong uniform patch. I'll have a couple vintage uh, astronaut suit, a vintage O-ring satellite, and then I'll have you know a nice little mining claim starter package because, again, when it comes to mining in this game, that is a way that you'll be able to earn some of these different tokens as far as like the Polis token, uh, which is going to be the token of the game, of course. Now, when you actually do go to their website, there are some things that are still not quite up and running quite yet as far as like the trading deck leaderboards and orders but like i said you are able to uh trade and buy pretty much everything on the platform without having to go to a third party because if i'm not mistaken beforehand uh they were on open scene they might still be on open sea i'm not for sure but you know they're kind of keeping everything in house now so which is kind of cool instead of having to you know go back and forth to different websites and stuff like that to be able to buy these different nfts and these posters because again each poster is going to give you some rewards um i'll probably like i said try to collect a couple more reward level one posters just to kind of add to my to my tier um because obviously you know once you get to that reward level two three you're you know you're gonna be spending a nice little piece of change here because as you guys have been following along as far as you know different blockchain games like access affinity uh you know even crypto kids you know you, you for the ones that are significant the higher tiers you know the big bad boys that are going to bring you a lot more rewards on the back end you know, like i said you are going to have to spend a pretty penny uh, but as far as I know a lot of people are wondering like well how are you going to be able to kind of make money in this game um i mean it's very simple so with star atlas uh, you'll be able to earn money obviously by selling items which are like i said represented by these nfts in the marketplace and you can exchange these atlas tokens so that's something that you don't want to keep your eye out for when they actually do their initial offerings is you're gonna to want to get some of these tokens, uh, and also too, the game has a built-in def deflationary mechanism. So where the materials are used to craft items, they're destroyed when they construct a new item. So, um, you know, no more of that typical as far as like games right now. You know, maybe like a Destiny or Mass Effect where you're 
you know, these items will respond or, you know, you can always get these items and loots or whatever case it be. Once you use these items, you craft them, you know, it's kind of, that's kind of it. Same thing uh, when it comes to these different space battles that we'll be able to uh, participate in. Um, if your ship, you know, which your ship is an NFT, it can be permanently lost and burned if you go to battle with somebody else and you lose. So, again, the strategicness behind this game is going to be really, really appealing to those that, you know, are into, you know, MMOs and strategy games. Because you got to keep in mind, you can't just go in there guns blazing. Uh, you know, if you do go in there guns blazing, there's a good chance you might lose that ship. I mean, if you have, you know, such uh, uh, attachment to that ship, you know, you're going to be a little hurt. You're going to be a little hurt because you're not going to be able to get that ship back. Um, and there's going to be all these different uh populate towns you'll be able to travel into you know different parts of the space and then obviously as you're you know doing the space traveling going to these different planets uh looking for loot you know mining rewards you know coming back home you know you never know it might might not be as easy as you think because there might be people you know as as a uh, if i'm not mistaken because i've spoken with the ceo of this particular game you know, there might be space pirates out there, uh, people that are just wanting to, you know, take loot. Um, and again, there's so much stuff that's going to be going on in the metaverse, which is going to be pretty cool. Um, again, this is all on Solana's blockchain. Which now, obviously, you are going to need a Solana uh, wallet, and there are pretty, I would say, there's a it's a good amount of different Solana wallets you can choose from. Um, I think the preferred one is Phantom. Um, I'm not using Phantom. Um, I'm using, uh, if I'm pronouncing this correctly, Sole.io. Uh, um, that's the Solana wallet I chose as my preference. I mean, again, you can do your own little research as far as you know which one you're going to actually go ahead and choose and run with. But um, as far as the two tokens that you're going to want to Pay attention to go ahead and grab you some because again these are going to be the tokens that you can obviously you know trade and basically do type of in-game things atlas and polis the two tokens that are going to be powering this whole gaming metaverse it's going to be released keep this in mind here folks you might want to jot this down they're going to be released on an ex initial exchange offering ieo on ftx which that's pretty big because, you know, if you've been following FTX, these guys have been making some huge moves and partnerships. So, again, that's going to be happening on FTX. And then their initial DEX offering will be happening on Radium and Apollo X later this month. Uh, so, again, keep your eye out for when that happens because, again, you're going to need these tokens to participate and do in-game things like buy ships, buy outfits. I mean, pretty much buy whatever you can name. Now, as far as the amount goes of Atlas and Polis tokens equal to 1 million will be allocated through the FTX initial exchange offering. And then an additional basically half a million of Atlas and Polis tokens will be available for sale through the initial DEX offering on Radium and Apollo X. Um, basically, both these channels will ensure a fair, equal, and widely distributed token sale that is in line with the value that Star Atlas represents. Now, for those of you that might not be familiar with Apollo X, this is an IDO platform, but it's inclusive into the ecosystem by increasing the opportunities for participating in upcoming and exciting decentralized projects and will include an exclusive, yeah, that's right, exclusive launch party in a outer space virtual world with two DJ sets. Yes, you heard that correctly. Outer space virtual world with two DJ sets. Can't wait for that. As far as Radium, now Radium is a all -may market maker and liquidity provider built on the Solana blockchain for the Serum centralized exchange with a launch pad for exclusive token offerings. Again, stay tuned for more news as far as when these bad boys will be taking place. Because, again, you're not going to want to miss out on this opportunity. And also, too, for those of you that were part of the Rebirth Meta Toaster Rewards, 
uh, collectors can look forward to receiving an advantage to accessing the token sales through the tier badge NFTs available as part of the loot box rewards. The rules for this perk will be announced shortly. Um, and then obviously to allow Rebirth Meta Poster collectors to fully benefit from the token sale, the Rebirth Meta Poster loot box reward snapshot is changing from August 30th to August 25th. So mark that in your calendar. And then NFT badges from the rewards pack will be dropped into the wallets of the Meta Poster tier collectors on August 26th. So that's when you can expect to receive all your rewards. And then the remaining NFT assets will be dropped to holders seven days later on September 2nd and not on August 31st, which was originally announced. So again here, folks, mark down these dates because you're not going to want to miss out on this opportunity. Um, for me, again, I've been following Star Atlas for a while now. Oh, wait, almost, uh, if I'm not mistaken, we might be coming up here almost on uh, about four six months if I'm not mistaken um, I do have a YouTube video that you guys can check out you guys head over to my channel it kind, of, kind of breaks down kind of gives you a little bit more visualize of what you expect for a star atlas also too uh, definitely we'll be trying to get the CEO to maybe come on the show so that way you guys can get some more inside from obviously the guy that is running the company but as far as the game Man, so obviously uh, Star Atlas is, you know, looking to be that trendsetter that kind of changes the game as far as how we even look at blockchain games and just the whole metaverse uh, as a whole. Um, it's going to have an immersive experience. I mean, already you can tell just by, you know, with the AR, with the posters. I mean, that's something right there that is a cool cool experience in itself because one you know I don't think I've even seen any other games uh, do that obviously you know blockchain games are there's only so many they're not a wide variety there's obviously like like I said earlier in the show you know everybody knows about Axis Affinity you got Gods Unchained uh, Crypto Kitties and um, you know they're all you know different in their own ways but as far as you know the augmented reality experiences uh, the audio collaborations um, that they you know created with this experience I mean it's it's really cool um, and then again these posters uh, that people are buying you know you're gonna be able to get some rewards on the back end as well so you know all those loots you know that you would normally do as far as like you know the games like destiny and even call of duty when you're opening loot boxes stuff like that you know it's cool but now in this particular world it, it's a little bit different now because when you're opening some of these loot boxes now it, it's actually attached with some money on the side so you could take some of these posters you know hodl them for however long you want and then you know you might want to sell them you know flip them because everybody's been flipping nfts if you're in that particular space buying and selling you know that that is a thing but for this you know i might be thinking to myself maybe buy two posters one to keep for myself for the in-game wars and maybe one to flip on the you know other side but again just i see this as a game that's going to be obviously a lot of hours gonna be put into it but those hours that you put into this game has a look a way way higher incentive value because there's rewards and these rewards are attached to money you know this is blockchain gaming is going to it's going to really really take the video game industry by by storm uh because again this is something that we haven't seen quite yet so again if you guys are new to the show uh Check out my last episode about Star Atlas. I did an episode about them, I want to say about a month or two ago. Uh, so you guys can go ahead and go back to that episode to kind of, you know, just get a little overview as a project as well. And again, I said, I do have a video on them on my channel. If you guys want to head over to my YouTube channel, The Wolf of Crypto, to get some visualize of the game. Like I said, the Unreal Engine is making this bad boy look like it's a movie. 
Yeah, you heard me correctly. Cinematic experience here, folks. You're going to be thinking you're freaking in uh, the Fifth Element movie, but with very high graphics. I'm trying to think of another space exploration movie. I mean, you got Interstellar and stuff like that. But, whew, I'm excited if you guys can't tell. Um, but that's going to really wrap it up as far as this particular Star Atlas update. Obviously, I'll most likely be doing another update, especially when uh, they actually announce when all their different offerings are going to come. Again, remember, it's going to be on FTX. As far as their um, initial exchange offering, that's the initial exchange offering. And as far as the DEX offerings, you guys will be able to uh, participate on those on Radium and Apollo X. Um, again, so that'll wrap it up as far as today's episode on the Crypto Millionaire Journey. Again, Star Atlas, highly anticipated game. Um, if you haven't heard about them, hey, do some digging. Especially if you're a video, but especially if you're into video games, I think this is gonna be a game that, like I said, it's gonna, you know, how Axie Sfinney had all the hype, how Crypto Kitties had all the hype. Trust me when I say, when this bad boy releases, there will be a lot of hype behind it as well, because again, this is a game that we haven't quite seen quite yet, right? Space exploration on a whole different level, and. So many different experiences that you can have just within the game. Because also, too, if I'm not mistaken, you actually will be able to uh, pilot your ship, too, like in a kind of like a VR sense. So, again, the what they have cooking up in their in their uh, hub, again, it's going to be something to keep your eye out for. Obviously, keep your eye out on these tokens because, you know, if you're somebody that's looking to, you know, maybe trade and sell these tokens again these tokens are going to have some nice value uh due to the uh the token items behind the project as well so if you guys enjoyed the episode again i thank you guys for tuning in and uh this is your host the wolf of crypto signing off and until the next time y'all peace take us out nori j